As Nevada's largest medical school and a division of an international university system, Toro University Nevada College of Osteopathic Medicine offers a distinctive osteopathic approach. And it recently invited us into its anatomy lab. We had the chance to connect with students, the dean and CEO about the respect given to the students' very first patients. Second year osteopathic medical student Prinity Shaw shares her experience of holding a scalpel for the first time. A little nervous, but also a little excited. The first moment when she says she began her medical journey inside the anatomy lab of Toro University, Nevada. We're all assigned a particular cadaver, which we work on in either, during my time it was groups of two to four. No two bodies are the same, so students can study cadavers of other groups. These cadavers are donated to Toro by the University of North Texas, a gift direct learning from someone who gave their body to science. This is the foundation of medicine, learning all the muscles, bones, nerves, arteries, everything in the body and how it's all connected. It's critical to their education. Their mission, described by senior provost and CEO Shelley Berkeley. We have a good faith belief that when they leave Toro and they are practicing medicine, that they are the best possible providers. The learning achieved inside this state-of-the-art laboratory is an environment of growth that carries the students forward in everything they do. An anatomy lab that is dissection hands-on, in my opinion, is not just a, a rite of passage, but it's also really one where you learn professionalism, you learn dedication, you learn how to be consistent and consistently good. You learn how to talk to your partners. Those are all things that we take for granted. At the end of the school year, an opportunity for the students to thank the donor in a white rose donor appreciation ceremony. It's our moment to kind of give back and show that appreciation and that humility to the people who gave us their bodies. And after one school year, the cadavers are sent back to the University of North Texas, where they are cremated and returned to the donor's family.